adulting. Welcome back to Barry. <laughs> Welcome back to Barry. Barry. Hi, Barry. Barry's like I. <laughs> Barry was like. Barry's like, meditating. Oh, there's a cougar up there. Huh? Ah! Mm-hmm. Okay. Adult number two really likes cougars. That's like your favorite animal. They're like my spirit animal. I I don't know why I see them and I there, practically burst into done. tears. Hey, Rusty, right? I love that cougar You're plushie right you got recently. Yes, <laughs> it's little and squishy. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing a doggy's legs from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. I'm gonna hear doggy. I'm gonna assume nothing's seriously wrong, or he wouldn't be examining him on a table outside next to a cliff. Uh, I got his foot caught in a trap. Oh. So he was bandaging him. Oh, poor Popper. Okay, that's great. Shut up, Barry. Jesus. God damn, you talk too much. Um, I'm supposed to be going to an office. This looks like a kitchen. Hey, but more coffee. I saw that. Coffee's good. I I have like a horde of coffee. I haven't used any of it. I don't know how. <laughs> yeah, you don't really use coffee. <laughs> how do I coffee? Sign the forms. What? Shut up, Barry. I don't even know what was funny anymore. Probably because you were just wandering around while he was telling you to do something, and your mental state is apparently very much in question right now. Well, Barry can shut the F up, or you can meet my other friend, Bigger Barry the Bear. <laughs> Bigger Barry the Bear. <laughs> That's a very well behaved pupper to just lie there. Yeah, there I can see is. the bandage on the paw now. Yeah, I saw that before I ran away. Oh. I was trying to tell you, but you were oh, like, what? I was like, what? You were like, what? I was like, what? I don't remember what you were saying, but you were saying something else. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I'm not at home. Like, do, have you been sitting in here just, like, if I'd looked through the window at you, would you have been standing here with your mouth yapping and I couldn't hear a word this entire time? Probably. Sounds you know like Barry. I like this Barry more. <laughs> yeah. He's, th- that Barry gives good hugs. What are you even talking about? He's talking about? about me winding up in a mental institution. Jokes about people who believe that kind of stuff. You're the skeptic. You... Yeah, well, I don't remember the last week of my life. <laughs> Opinions change when your wife vanishes. And you were camped in a place that doesn't exist. And you attack people with a flashlight beam. We should go to the yeah. Or call the FBI. We were at the sheriff. You went in there and freaked right out at this them because debate, Barry. <laughs> you were my agent and they weren't allowed to do anything. Also, you punched them. Okay. <laughs> You punched the doctor. Well, yeah. But he burged in there and was like, no! And now he's like, you should go to the sheriff! You know, I understand that a lot of writers have typically really good relationships with their agents, but not usually to the point where the agent will bust in and go, I'll call my lawyers, oh, and by the way, I'll, like, cover for you for legal matters and shit. Well, they might to a certain degree, because the, their livelihood kind of depends on it, too. Well, true. Um, you know. And I guess depending on how much uh, how much he's taking, like, maybe he would be willing to go above and beyond, but... F- for any aspiring writers out there, Barry's not the norm. Barry's not normal. Well. Now that's a stove I can get behind. A gas stove. Okay, head for lover's peak. I need the head for lover's peak. Probably. Oh, switch lights. Uh, I'm not allowed. Ha <laughs> ha, Barry, you're in the dark. <laughs> Neither. I came out here and it's like, oh, I live in Skyrim. <laughs> da da da, da da da, da 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 da. It's a barbecue on my porch. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was. Uh... Holy crap! Barry! Is he yelling out the window at me? Yeah. Don't worry, Al. I'll be right here. I'm right- I'm right here, Al. 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 Oh my god. Al. Bye. I'm right here, Al. Oh, it's a paper. I need that paper. Thank you. Bye. What's in here? There there might be stuff I need in- Eh. Here. (laughs) Just like creeping along the wall. Like- (laughs) No, apparently not. I'll just knock some shit over, you know. 
I also think it's kind of interesting how your battery and your flashlight runs out only when you're doing the super beam on people. Yeah. Otherwise, it's like, no, this thing's good for a long time. I don't know how I would... What just happened? We may never know. I'm supposed to walk there now? Okay, got it. Um... Well, I mean, you don't want to show up at Lover's Peak in a car. That just invites the backseat commentary. This wasn't the smartest thing I've ever done. I don't think there's much commentary going on in the backseat. <laughs> True. <laughs> I meant commentary about the backseat, but yeah, okay, you make a you make a good point. I'll I'll concede that. Also, they want you on foot so they can attack you more. Cause... Yeah, because I forget how to do everything. So. <laughs> well, that was wonderfully delayed. I love it. <laughs> also, what the hell was that? A rabid raccoon? I don't know. I thought it was just a garbage can. Well, yeah, but, like, what knocked it over? I don't know. I thought the garbage can just... caused an earthquake. Oh, balls. Welp. Hey, lady who's obsessed with the light bulbs. <laughs> Second... I need some down here. Second verse, same as the first. A little bit louder and a little bit worse. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, your your flashlight battery actually just came back there. Yeah, if you hold it down too long, it uh, that's when it goes funky. But you know when there's things leaping at you, you don't have a lot of choices. Yeah. What's here? A manuscript page. Why what? do so many random places have pa pieces of your manuscript? Well, you don't remember writing it, so this whole thing is strange. <laughs> you wrote a manuscript. Type it all up. Make it all nice and pretty. Walk through the streets just handing random pages to people. Maybe. I'm sure someone would do that as a social experiment to see how many people come together and piece together most of the story. What the hell? Bucky, hang on! I'm coming! Please! Where are uh... you? No, car! something that I would run in a tabletop game. It does. Whoa. Like, everything's normal, and then it's really not. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of weird, and then you think maybe it's a little bit normal, and then nope. Hell, yeah, pretty much. Just the way it was on that page. I found oh, pupper. Doggy. Don't die, Pupper. So Don't die, dude. Dark. Do you seem Did to be doing okay, me? actually, right now? Yes. Then, But you're gonna the just wife. kick it. Right yeah. yeah. The dog always dies. Okay, Rusty. Well, I meant Hang also on. the guy. He oh. seemed to be, you know, a decent color and not... Whatever did this couldn't be far. Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. It would hey, a revolver. What had happened. Hey, pupper. Doggo. Shh. Good boy. <laughs> Comfort the pupper. Um... Get the lights on. Okay, so... Good luck with Why that. Why does everywhere here have sure everything in other safe. buildings? Was to get the power yeah, it's the not exactly on. very efficient. It's like well, middle of a snowstorm, the power goes out. Well, we have to cross the yard in the middle of a fucking blizzard to go turn them back on. Yeah, like genius. What the hell? It's weird. Do, 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 do. And this wouldn't happen if this game was designed by Canadians. <laughs> Watch this game have been designed by Canadians. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Sorry, I kind of had to burp in it. Sort of went weird. <laughs> you kind of had to blurp. <laughs> I kind of had to blurp. Open. Sesame. Uh, pick up ammo. Pick up batteries. Ooh. I'll just loot the damn place while I'm here. Why not? <laughs> everyone else, everyone is dead. May as well. Not Everybody knows it. that is the point to video games. I know, right? Oh Whoa. my god. Some Grab the axe. The Grab the axe. I was too late. Well, I'm, I'm pretty no sure that the lights being off, that might be why. I'm pretty sure you were too late at the Rusty. point the lights turned off. Rusty. 
Well, yes. But I was thinking you like could grab the axe and use it as a weapon, but then you might get electrocuted because it's still in the fuse box. Yeah, but the uh, handle's wood, too, so... True. Not a conducted very God well. damn. Why do you shoot them before they explode in light? Because... Does it do any damage? I don't know, but sometimes they don't do what they're supposed to do, so I just um. started shooting them. Yeah, I kind of wondered that earlier, because sometimes you'd you'd shoot them, like, before the darkness was dispelled. Yeah, but sometimes it gets dispelled and you don't see it. Uh, um, I suppose. Like, because that was right there, right? So it happened yeah. the very second I put the flashlight on him. So sometimes it happens when you don't see it and they just take a lot of shots. What the hell? What? What even was that? I don't know! It's like, well... You did too well in that last part. Time to give you some damage. Did, did uh, Rusty just burst through there? Yep. Doggy. Oh, damn it! Rusty is not having a good day. No. No, Rusty. Rusty, where'd you fucking go, man? Rusty? Is he stuck on a wall? Because that'd be hilarious. I think he was actually legit stuck on a wall. I'm not complaining, because no. I think he would have kicked my ass otherwise. Probably. I'd love if it still says return to Rusty. I'm like, I'm pretty sure Rusty's gonna take my face off with that axe. Probably. Like, come on. Oh my god, Rusty. Just die. Hey, I tried to reload my weapon and you kind of wouldn't let me. Yeah, you know, I, I was just thinking about that rule. Like, you're not allowed to take anything from national parks, even just, like, rocks you find on the ground. Yeah. I can kind of, like, that seems ridiculous. Like, the, the national park is not going to lack for one pebble if I fucking take it. On the yeah. other hand, if you don't have that rule in place, there's gonna be some jackass who comes along with an axe, chops down a tree, and decides they can take it with them. Yeah, though, you could just have a rule of no cutting, but, um, it, there's probably more to it than that, too. Probably. And probably just one of those stupid things where you, you know, unless you have that rule, some jerkwad is gonna take advantage of it and do something horrible. Yeah. Pretty much, and there's probably some weirdness of it screwing with things they might need to know. I don't know. Yeah. So, you know, if they're smart, whoever's in charge of the souvenir shop will go pick up a whole bunch of river pebbles that they know they can take and sell them for two dollars a piece in the gift store. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm supposed to reach Lover's Peak somehow now. I hope that's not it over there. Um, but I have to, so maybe I have to go back around that way. Herm. Lover's Peak. Okay, good. 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 There's a hole in the fence? Well, there's a hole in the wall, but I had to come back this way to make it go do other things. Herm. Oh, stupid. Crazy face. Oh, there you go. Do do. I'm a problem solver! Yeah. What the F? Those are trees going down. They have a cave troll. They- we have cave trouble. We have cave trouble, yeah. I love that line. <laughs> yeah, that's the best line. <laughs> that and good spirits always helps. Mm. I said, like, go to hell. <laughs> yes. That was a good one. Um, I'm assuming people will know Forget what we're talking this. about. I hope so. Crazy. <laughs> neener, neener, Barry! He just called me. He was all like, I saw yeah. crazy thing! It's like, hey, yeah, nothing. Hey, it's just me being crazy. Hey, Barry, do you really think this is the time to call me? Like, Barry really? thinks every time is the time to call me. True. Also, I'm amazed you can get a reception out here. Yeah. Reception in the States is notoriously spotty. Well, you know, it's a video game, so. Well, reception yeah, that's everywhere. True. Hooray. Are we ready for next time? We are ready for next time. Hey. All right, next time. Next time, bye. Bye-bye.